Ever wondered why life feels like a roller coaster of highs and lows? It's all about dukkha, a concept in Buddhism that translates to suffering or frustration. Picture life as a river, constantly flowing and changing. When we try to swim against this current, to grasp onto fleeting moments, people or possessions, we struggle. This struggle is what Buddhism refers to as dukkha. So, the cause of our suffering is not life's ups and downs, but our resistance to them. Now you may be wondering, what causes this resistance, this suffering? The answer lies in the second noble truth of Buddhism, which introduces the idea of Trishna or clinging. Imagine trying to hold on to a fistful of sand as it slips through your fingers. That's what clinging is like. A futile attempt to hold on to the temporary, the ever-changing. This clinging is born out of a misguided view of the world, a state of avidya or ignorance. We often see the world in separate bits and pieces, trying to fit everything into neat fixed categories created by our minds. This skewed view of life keeps us stuck in a cycle of suffering, referred to as samsara. It's like a wheel that keeps spinning, where every action sets off more actions and answers only lead to more questions. In other words, our suffering comes from our clinging to a fixed view of life and our ignorance of the reality of change. But don't lose hope, there's a way out of this cycle of suffering. The third noble truth guides us towards this liberating prospect. It declares that the ceaseless suffering can indeed cease. This cessation is not a distant dream but a reachable reality. It's about breaking free from the relentless cycle of samsara, the incessant chain of cause and effect where each action sets off a ripple of reactions. It's about transcending the illusion of separateness and embracing the interconnectedness of life. This is nirvana, a state of profound peace and ultimate liberation. It's an awakening to the highest level of consciousness, a shift from illusion to enlightenment. Imagine a state of total freedom, a feeling of oneness with all life. That's nirvana. And how do we achieve this state of nirvana? The answer lies in the fourth noble truth of Buddhism, the Eightfold Path. It's like a roadmap to liberation, a guide to help us navigate the complexities of life and overcome suffering. The path is divided into three essential elements. First, right seeing and right knowing. This is about understanding life as it truly is, without the filter of illusions. Then, right actions. These are ethical behaviors that promote harmony and reduce harm. Lastly, right awareness, which is about being fully present in the moment, attentive to the flow of life. So the key to ending suffering is to follow the Eightfold Path, to live mindfully and in harmony with the reality of change.